Orlando Pirates are the early pace setters in the Betway Premiership this season, and they are looking to emulate their best ever start to a campaign as they take aim at ailing TS Galaxy this evening. First, the Buccaneers versus 15. One side has won all their games, the other side has won none. But with that being said, TS Galaxy have uh, had a bit of a difficult draw to uh, start the season just in the fact that they've had to play all of their first four games in the Betway Premiership on the road. They are finally back on home soil. The only other instance that they've been at home this season was in the Carling Knockout first round where they did manage to get a win over Chipper United and last season they were absolutely excellent here at the Bombela Stadium. Lovely work initially from Puso Dittijan and then shots flies wide from Vilas. It's a good start though for TH Galaxy, the team that you expect maybe to play with a little bit of fear against Orlando Pirates and having failed uh, to uh, win a single game in the four that they played. But like you said, one of the reasons that very is very obvious is that they play most of their games away. It's always very difficult in the stages of the season. That's before King. Oh, getting away from Dittijani beautifully. Talented batter and it's fly! Oh, excellent! An astonishing effort from Talented Batter. It's just his second club goal of his career. A man who has been making a habit of scoring with the national team. Bringing a little bit of that to Orlando Pirates. Susceptible on a few occasions to uh, allowing the opposition to come back in. Here's a quarter! Just wouldn't come down for him in time. What a terrific effort from the youngster. Brilliant from Makopa, who was basically his face, his back, he had playing with his back to his own goal, as you can see here, but was able to see the run from Nkota and just net the ball, and that ball nearly just drops behind the goalkeeper. It's just their second away match in the league this season. There's Clamini's delivery. Oh, oh, oh! It was initially repelled to just the edge of the area where Talenta Bata was waiting. Hit it beautifully on the half volley. It's a, it's a difficult ball because he's back pegging. He's trying to basically allow the ball to land beautifully so that he can strike it at the same time on the volley. And yes, yet he's still uh, he's able to generate the right kind of power, which was a great save from the goalkeeper. That was an ill-advised trick in a, a terrible area. And then from that, TS Galaxy get a ball into the box. Kadebe goes down. Referee waves away the appeals. Hmm. And that's it for the first half, which ends on potentially a controversial note. Tears Galaxy certainly seem to think so. Sead Ramovic and most of his coaching staff marching onto the field. Well, both games between these two last season ended 1-0, both for the hosts, says Mufuke. Well, after celebrating his 20th birthday, we can no longer refer to him as the teenage sensation, but perhaps, perhaps he's just graduated to fully-fledged superstar. <laughs> Listen, it takes, it takes brains to be able to uh, see your environment and read the, the necessary situation to develop the play in that fashion. They, they've been trying to find the pass that will matter. It hasn't been happening. Mbata scored from such a range, and the young star has graduated to be able to realize that you don't have to walk the ball into the back of the net, you can shoot. Yeah, it's a Velasa that loses ball control. Oh, that's a cracker mm, of mm, the goal. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, no chance for the goalkeeper. 
Oh, it's a beauty. Top corner. Whew. I was talking about that exactly, is that this is what is lacking for Alano Paras. Yes, they're in control, but that one nil lead is always a very big concern. Cabini. Now he's going to end up on the losing side, but Cabini's put in a strong showing. Oh, no. Penalty. Down. Nope. Won't be a penalty. Yellow he card died. for a man who's already been booked. And Sibili Bini gets his second yellow. His first was, uh, was a silly one. And now he has been dismissed. Why, why would he do this? I mean, at such a stage where I thought he even had a chance to maybe run into the ball. He decided to... Uh, I would like to see this. But it, he's not even complaining. He knows exactly what he did. Job well done by the Buccaneers. As they continue to pick up three points in the Betway Premiership. There is the final whistle. The Buccaneers and uh, Jose Ribeiro continue to rewrite Orlando Pirates history. They did it in the top eight competition, earning their third successive title. And now, for the first time in 22 years, they start the league season with half a dozen victories. And they open up a six-point gap at the summit. And they put the pressure now on Mamaloni Sundowns to respond against one of their bogey teams, Town City, tomorrow. William Shumway. Indeed, I think it's a wonderful performance. Yes, they didn't score that many goals, but the, let me tell you, the fact that they were not able to concede, it's a big achievement. I mean, China will know what it means for a goalkeeper. And I'm sure the coach as well, yes. Sometimes the team is not threatening as much, but you find that lots of concentrations uh, do happen along the way. But uh, clinical defensively, Orlando Pirates were this evening. Pirates are the pace setters. 2 0 winners on their travels. And they are cementing themselves at the top of the Betway Premiership standings. It means a lot because. Uh... We used to give these uh, individual awards to the players that shine in the last meters of the game and not the ones who are shining in the first meters of the game. And he's one example, uh, you know, in any means, in any possible means as a professional football player. I think that Macaula reward belongs also to, to the ones who are working always, you know, to, to keep a clean sheet like today, our center backs, full backs, and usually they don't get the recognition that they deserve. So happy for him because he's... Uh, He's a very important player for us. I believe that we came very well into to the game. What we made a lot of small mistakes from the build-up. And we got two very cheap goals, let me say it on this one, but I don't want to take any credit from the opponent. A very strong team, very good players, nice, beautiful club, top coaching staff. But we, we concede goals that we should not. All in all, after the one nil from Orlando, we knew that they will go a little bit back and wait for the counter-attacks and let us more play. And this is what happened. We had some moments, we had some chances where we could score, but we didn't. And then it's not that, that easy, of course. And I also have to give a lot of credit to Mike Salembele. Yes, he got a second part, but he is a top player. He's a very, very great uh, professional player. He will be back after two games, but he played again an outstanding game. All in all, it should not be, but uh, we will not feel sorry for ourselves. We played a very good game. And we will just continue because if you play well and the results doesn't come now, 
you are not so don't worry about it because you will get the points. 